<laughs> How are you with your washing? Do you do your own washing? Does someone do it for I you? I only prefer to do my own washing. And I, you know, even though I like top loaders because they're, they're a bit more spacious, mm. I'm a front loader guy. That's what I have at home. Okay, well, here's some more for you. I don't know if I believe that, though. Omo Auto Liquid has been proven to be just as effective in a top loader as it is in a front loader. I've been getting a lesson on the nuances between the two kinds of washing machines and some irreplaceable wash day tips from Ethne Whitley, our laundry expert. Ethne, thanks so much for joining us again. Thank you. Today we are focusing specifically on the front loader. That's um, right. Just give me a bit of, of background here. What differs between the two washing machines? Well, this is a very much more sophisticated machine. I mean, first of all, you actually have an element in the machine that heats water. So you can choose any temperature you want from cold to 90 degrees. You have an array of programs from a hand wash program, a quick wash program, right the way through to a, a, a program where you use a pre-wash, which is generally for very, very dirty clothes. But the important thing about this one as well is its environmental friendliness. And when you think that um, about between 45 to 50 litres of water and you've done a full load, of a wash and three rinses, and that's what it takes. That really does prove to you that you're using sort of super technology. Okay, should we get sorting? Absolutely. <laughs> fabric labels should be your best friends on wash days. Okay, where do we begin with our sorting okay. in terms of fabrics and colour? Well, well, obviously one likes to look at our towels and get those in the wash as early as possible on wash day. So when you're washing your towels, always wash them in a separate wash. Of course, don't mix colours. I mean, if this happens to be your colour scheme at home, Keep these separate because this is going to probably run and we know that because terry tiling does run. When you're sorting your bed linen, it's exactly the same as you would for a top loader. So obviously you would take your, your things don't, that don't run of a similar type of fabric. These are cotton polyester sheets and you would wash them together. And nothing there is going to run into anything else. Now, I've actually taken out a counter pen because we get so many requests and queries on how to wash these. Obviously they're bulky and they're big. But if you have a reasonable sized drum in your front loader, you can wash these in your front loader. And I'll actually demonstrate that to you when we do our loading in a minute. Right, so I've spoken very often about how to wash delicates. Um, you get these little laundry bags. You can buy them in supermarkets and places like that. This is the only way to wash un women's underwear, particularly bras, etc., because they don't get distorted in the wash. And also, if you have a garment that's heavily beaded or it has sequins on it, pop it into a bag like this before you put it into the drum. Now, if I was washing either of these for the first time, I'd never washed them before, and I, I wanted to mix them in with a general colored load, I would want to know that they're not going to run. Yeah. If this is the first time that you're washing it, Always check your label to see if it actually says wash separately, which they generally do for a very brightly coloured garment. But if you don't have that, just test for dye fastness before you put it into the drum, because that could really, really damage a whole load of washing. And it's irreversible. Once, you, once it's been dyed by another, uh, literally a dye, you don't really get it out. Another thing to be very careful of is overloading the drum. Ethne has a great trick there as well to keep it from happening. Ethne, the first thing that jumps out is the difference in size between a top loader and a front loader. Do we have to take our load size into account as well? When you've loaded loosely, if you can fit your hand between the underside of the porthole door and the upper side of your load inside, then you're fine. Should have okay. enough room. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's so nice about a front loader is that you have a dispenser drawer that actually gives you a space to put your washing, Put your fabric softener and if you are going to add any other additive like a bleach or something into your wash so it's very easy to use so as i said to you you can wash these large things what you do is you load them loosely so you don't you don't put it into a, a you know a very tightly folded piece of fabric you just load it loosely like that now that actually would be your load would be perfect. but now i'm going to show you what it looks like when you put everything else in. Okay, so now we're in trouble. Yes, now okay. we're in trouble. And once that's washing, when you get your stuff out, it's not going to be clean because they have not been able to tumble individually. 
So now that we've, we've got the correct load size inside our machine, how do we go about selecting the right cycle? Here we have a ton of more options. There's a huge move in South Africa to wash in colder temperatures, so from 40 degrees down. And generally that will give you a really good wash. But let's see what this machine gives you in temperature for a wash for bedding. And you'll see that it probably falls very nicely into that area. Right, it's a 40 degree wash, you've got three rinses and you've got a spin speed of 800. That means that these, when this comes out, it's actually damp for ironing, but if you want to hang it outside and get it completely dry, you can do that. Ethne, thank you so much. I've picked up some absolute gems from you. I now know from my lifestyle that the front loader is definitely the choice for me and the kind of washing that I need to do, so thank you so much. Well, I'll think of you on wash days. <laughs> But well, we'll be thinking of you on wash days. We know that Omo Auto Liquid has been endorsed by all of our big brand manufacturers. So it's just about deciding which washing machine is right for you and the rest Omo Auto Liquid will take care of. Whatever the stain, pour just one cap of new Omo Auto Liquid. Even in a quick wash, no one removes tough stains faster.